So these will cut off about right here. We'll go stack this long log over there where we're gonna cut and make firewood later. <laughs> Well, you can see that the grapple works pretty good. Uh, I'm very happy with it. It does everything it's designed to do, to do. It's me that needs to learn more about, you know, how to approach things. One of the things I'm finding, this being a root grapple, is that I sometimes easily dig into the dirt when I don't necessarily mean to. So I just gotta learn how to finesse it a little bit better. What I have learned though, uh, hey, hey Bambi. What you doing? You think I'm talking to you? You do, huh? What I've learned is that instead of approaching things with the kind of the call coming in like this, it's kind of better with these kind, these style to come in and grab it like this. Hey, honey, Bambi's coming around front. And uh, anyway, but uh, all in all, it does a good job. And I'm not too bad for never using one before. I, I It turned out good. The reason I had to kind of stop prematurely on the big uh, pile of brush down there is because I had some issues with my steel chainsaw. So uh, I've got it in the shop. Uh, it's currently under warranty. So they're gonna take a look at it. It just seemed to be running rough and uh, the, the motor just was kind of bogging down here and there. So not sure what's going on, but we're gonna get that figured out. But yeah, this WR long grapple is awesome. And uh, I'm very pleased with it so far. I've not done too much work with it. Uh, and as you probably saw in this video, I combined two or three times that I was up here using it into one video just because the first time I just kind of messed with it a little bit and I needed to get you some footage of the thing in use. So yeah, that's probably, may have been a little confusing, but that's all that was, just a couple different times that I was up here. but. Yeah, I, I'm loving it, and I'm really looking forward to using it more and getting uh, a lot of use out of it over the years, but no issues whatsoever. Picks up anything I need to pick up so far, but got a lot of bigger stuff to do. I want you to see something. Check out my loft up there. I don't think you guys have ever seen it with the tractor under it. I left myself about one inch, maybe one and a half inches between the top of the loft or the bottom of the loft and the top of the tractor. And uh, this isn't finished yet, but uh, we are about to do electricity in this area. And this is going to be a tiny house up front. So you're gonna get to see this come together and it's gonna be pretty cool. So yeah, we I met an electrician up here uh, day before yesterday and we set a few boxes and, uh, but an upcoming video will be the full layout of all the electricity to the back area where the panel is going to be and where the signature solar complete solar array completely off grid is going to be back here with the inverters and the batteries everything that we need and then way out in the field is where we're going to have the solar panels and so yeah if you haven't got to do so by now please subscribe to the channel um, hit the notification bell whatever you need to do so that you can start getting notifications when we are posting new videos because we are doing a lot of cool stuff and if you've seen one of my recent videos or it might be coming up i'm not sure i did just purchase this bad boy elite zt and this is my second time mowing this lawn check it out i seeded this lawn or actually i brought uh topsoil up here in november and this is early may and i planted some seed and i've got previous videos of where we put the seed down and the fertilizer and the straw and i want you to look at how thick and lush this grass is looking now i won't lie to you there's a ton of weeds in here i just put weed and feed down and uh, i'm hoping that within a couple of weeks 
maybe we'll see a difference in getting these weeds knocked out of here a little bit but we don't expect rain for a full five days so i don't think anything's going to change too soon because the weed and feed i put down was the solid pebbles it wasn't any liquid so i think it may take a rain to really get that to activate and and do what it needs to do but it's really looking beautiful but yeah thanks for sticking around and we'll catch you in the next video take it easy